Hello students, now we are going to see how to do this by modular exponentiation algorithm. So here the whole idea is to minimize the number of multiplications that you do to do exponentiation. Okay, so for example, if you want to compute 5 raised to 41 mod 9, if you use your calculator, you have to really do uh, 5 raised to 41, how many times? 40 multiplications, why? If I want to multiply something like um, phi cube, compute phi cube, I have to do how many multiplications? Phi times phi times phi, so two multiplications, right? So to compute phi to the power 41, I would have to do 40 multiplications by brute force approach, get such a big number and then divide by 9 to get the reminder. Now we are going to make use of this fact that the fact is what? Uh, any uh, if you divide by 9 the reminder is going to be between 0 to 8 it's not going to be 9 or more so it's going to be only between 0 to 8 so we're going to make use of this <coughs> and try to reduce the uh, computation overhead so the first thing is to write this exponent 41 in binary so I'm writing this in binary so this is exponents of 2, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So, I assume pretty much everybody knows uh, how to get uh, convert an integer to binary. So, for example, you can put 1 here for 41, 32. The remaining is 9, so you cannot have 1, 0. So, this could be a 1. So, the remaining is 1. So, you have all the way 1 here. So, now we are going to compute 5 raised to 1 mod 9. 5 raised to 1 is 5. So, 5 mod 9 is 5. Then 5 square mod 9, is going, we are going to make use of this result, 5 raised to 1 times 5 raised to 1 is going to be 5 square. So 5 raised to 1 mod 9 is going to be 5 mod 9 and 5 raised to 1 mod 9 is another 5 mod 9. So it's basically 5 times 5 which is 25 mod 9 is going to be 7, the reminder. So now to compute 5 to the power 4 mod 9, we are going to say it is 5 square times 5 square mod 9. And bring this mod 9 inside and basically then 5 square mod 9 is 7 so 7 times 7 is 49 mod 9 which is going to be 4 then 5 to the power 8 mod 9 is going to be 5 to the power 4 times 5 to the power 4 mod 9 we know 5 to the power 4 mod 9 is 4 so 4 times 4 mod 9 is going to be 16 mod 9 which is 7 5 to the 16 mod 9 is 5 to the 8 times 5 to the 8 mod 9 so that is 7 times 7 49 mod 9 which is 4 5 to the 32 mod 9 is 5 to the 16 times 5 to the 16 is 4 times 4 16 mod 9 which is 7 so basically we have 5 to the 41 is 5 to the 32 the exponents where we had a 1 times 5 to the 8 times 5 to the 1 mod 9 so 5 to the 32 is 7 5 to the 8 is 7 5 to the 1 is 5 so this is 49 uh, you can simplify it in like this, you don't need to multiply the whole thing. So 49 mod 9 is going to be 4 times 5, okay, so 40, 7 times 7 is 49, mod 9 is 4 times 5 mod 9. So 4 times 5 is 20, 20 mod 9 is 2. So how many multiplications we did here? We did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 multiplications over here. And two multiplications over here so totally we did only seven multiplications all right so the number of multiplications is basically that of log n okay and the reason is you see here the number of multiplications is nothing but you, it's decided by the number of bits needed to represent n so we have 41 the exponent uh, we go up to 6 bits basically you can represent it as log n plus 1 so that is state of log n okay right so uh, uh, we need 5 multiplications right so that is log n multiplications and, and here at the worst case we will be end up ending up doing another log n multiplications so log n plus log n state of 2 log n which is log n so that's why the number of multiplications is log n okay, because if all these things are once we may end up we will have to do all those multiplications so that is log n multiplications here 
another log n multiplications here that's going to be 2 log n which is still theta of log n okay okay so, so let's do one more example so here I have to compute 8 to the 35 mod 11 so um, so if you do a brute force approach you'll need 34 multiplications so now write this in binary so that is 32 then 2 and 1 so adding up to 35 so 8 to the 1 mod 11 is 8 8 square mod 11 is 8 to the 1 times 8 to the 1 so it is 64 mod 11 which is going to be 9 uh, I pretty much know and I think everyone knows how to do this so let's do 64 divided by 9 is something like this so to get the reminder what you have to do is remove the quotient which is now getting you this multiply by 9 what you are uh, so multiply by 11 that's what you're dividing by right so one second uh, did I make it right 64 divided by 11 sorry this is this remove the quotient which is this times 11 which is 9 that's how we got this 9 okay so similarly now 8 to the power 4 is 8 square times 8 square which is 9 times 9 mod 11 so 81 mod 11 so again we can check 81 mod 11 81 divided by 11 is this remove the quotient which is 7 so you get the reminder times 11 you get 4 now 8 to the 8 is 8 to the 4 times 8 to the 4 which is 4 times 4 mod 11 which is 16 mod 11 that is 5 8 to the 16 is 8 to the times 8 8 to the 8 times 8 to the 8 which is 5 times 5 mod 11 22 25 mod 11 so reminder is 3 then 8 to the 32 is 8 to the 16 times 8 to the 16 which is 3 times 3 which is 9 9 mod 11 is 9 because if you divide something by a number which is less than the number the reminder is going to be the number itself so 9 mod 11 the reminder is going to be 9 itself so you want to compute 8 to 35 mod 11 from here we know it is 1 for 32 2 and 1 so 8 to the 32 times 8 square times 8 1 8 to the power 1 mod 11 so that is like 9 times 9 Okay, so 8 to the 32 is 9, 8 squared is 9 times 8 mod 11. So it is 81 times 8 mod 11. So as I did 81 divided by 11 is this. Remove the quotient times 11. That's 4. Okay, so 4, to the eight, 4 times 8 mod 11 is going to be 32 mod 11. So 32 mod 11 is going to be, this is the whole thing remove the quotient multiply by 11 you get 10 so that's going to be our final value so how many multiplications you do you do here totally 1 2 3 4 5 5 multiplications as you can see here one less than the number of uh, integers you have and you have two multiplications here one multiplication here and one multiplication here right so it is 2 plus 5 which is 7 